Hey guys, we're back with some more Death Dick Factory. Uh, in the last episode of Star Wars Bounty Hunter, we got all the way to this part, and uh, now we are uh, on the way again, and I fucked up, everybody. I fucked up. Guess what? I uh, killed a bounty later on that I shouldn't have killed, so guess what? I got to restart and do it all over again. But this time, I didn't let, uh, I didn't let you. I didn't make you watch it this time, so we still have 10 out of 15 bounties, and uh, God... <laughs> Why is this game so annoying? Why do you, why did they have to make it so crap? It was such a good game, and then they just fucking I don't know what they did, but they fucked it up. Kill that guy! Kill that guy! That guy! That guy, that guy! This guy! Kill him! I didn't pick him up. There's another bounty down here. That guy! Grab him! That's the guy who always commits suicide. He just fucking. Runs off the edge like a retard. I don't understand. Like him and his little posse down here, they just go, ah, 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 and then they just run off the edge. I don't understand it. Of all the things that they fucking put in this game, enemies running off the edge. That just that just takes the cake for the biggest piece of bullshit I ever seen. Anyway, speaking of bullshit, we are on the stupidest section of any game ever. Uh, we are uh, about to be confronted with a new type of enemy. They are the Bandagora. Snipers. I, I call them snipers. They're not really classified as snipers since they shoot like these rifles at. Oh, I don't know. They, they, they're technically called shooters. You see him up there? You see him up there being a little bitch? You see how fast he's shooting? Every single one of those little flashes of light, that's a shot. And basically, that'll do a decent amount of damage every time they shoot you like that. Luckily, he's behind a wall right here, so we can fuck this guy up pretty easy. But the rest of these guys are gonna really get on my nerves. Oh, yeah, we can go over here as well, and there's a Doug, I think. Yeah, there's a Doug this way. You can kill him. Wait, how many Doug? How many? Oh, yeah, three left. Okay. The next bounty we have to kill, and then the next two are really annoying because they tend to, um... They tend to run off the edge really easily. And you know what? If those guys run off the edge, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to restart this level and go back for these guys. Those guys do it too much, like... Like, just a ridiculous amount. Just stupid amounts. Now, uh, you can actually pick up these rockets. They will make your life so, so, so much easier. For these next few moments, at least. Um, the trick is just trying to remember where these Banogora appear. I thought there was one that just chilled out in that area right there. I don't know if he's spawned yet. I can't really see. But... We're going to take our chances and we're just going to fire our rocket inside this little alcove. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that took him out. Bandogora, Django. Be careful. Oh, thanks, Roz. I didn't notice. Alright, good. It did take him out. Yeah, he chill. He chilly dicks in that hole for a little while. Um, but you can take him out with rockets. So, like, you know, if you know where all these guys wait and, like hang out and stuff, you can take care of them pretty easily with rockets. Otherwise, you have to counter-snipe them, which is not fun, as we all know. Um, there's another guy who hides out. He's got a little hidey hole of his own. There's what? Oh, I hope he runs off the edge. Run off the edge, man. Re I really hope you do. Okay, I guess he's not going to. Oh, he did! Yay! Good. What an idiot. Alright, this guy has got a pretty decent hidey hole. Um, but I can never remember where it is. Okay, so it's... Over there. Over there of all places. I think we might... I think this is the guy I usually just counter snipe. So let's take a step out and just figure out where his bullets are going. Zoom in. Got him. So, counter-sniping also works as long as you're good at it and you've practiced on previous levels, you know. But until you've gotten good at counter-sniping, I would not recommend it. This is a bounty. He needs to be dead so we can immediately snip to, snip to our sniper rifle and kill him off the bat. So, he's going to be dead and make, it makes our life a little bit easier. I think there's only one more Bandagora that we have to deal with, so let's pick up some sniper rifle ammo. And I don't remember where he is. This is this is great. This is just gonna be fantastic. I don't remember where this dude is. 
he's just gonna, you know, surprise butt sex me and I'm not gonna notice what's going on. I just know that's what's gonna happen. I know it. Alright, balls to the wall. Yep, there he is. Surprise butt sex. Or not so surprised butt sex because I noticed him. Okay, here are these two guys. This guy will run off the edge. And so will his buddy up top who is on patrol right now. So he's on petrol. Oh, there he is. Wait, no bounty? Are you kidding? That is the bounty. It's that guy and then one other guy. You gotta be kidding me. Or is he on patrol still? That's the guy. I swear. Cross my heart and hope to die. That is the guy. He sits right there. Two bounties. You know what I'm gonna bet my money on? I bet he already fell off the edge. Or I just can't see him. I'm hoping for the latter. But the... The previous option is more likely than any of the others. Alright, where is this guy? I forget. Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. Oh, I can actually see you. I can lock on. That's nice. Oh, look, he's gonna run off the edge. Watch, I bet he's gonna run off the edge. He's gonna do it. Don't do it, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't take your own life. I will take your life. Where is this other band Ogora? Oh, he's chilly decking up there now. I see how it is. You're dead. Alright, alright. Where is your buddy? Where is this last bounty? I know! That Yeah, that's him! Look at that! That's stupid! I It said no bounty two seconds ago. What is that crap? Okay, 15 out of 15. Did, did he fall? Oh wow, look at this, this guy fell. Ugh. Anyway. Um, are you guys ready for some really scary crap and stuff? Because uh, this is going to probably scare the crap out of you for those who aren't prepared. Now we're just strolling along. This looks like a pretty cool cave. And... What the fuck are these guys are running around like monkeys? Oh god, he's got a glow stick. It's a rave! Everybody get glow sticks! Oh, yeah! Take that! Okay, these guys are the Bandogora. These are like the actual Bandogora enemies. Not like the little snipers, but they actually run around like monkeys. Crazed fucking monkeys! And they have this green dye that comes on them whenever you shoot them. And I hate them! I hate them, they scare the pants off me, okay? I'll admit it, this probably scares me more than the game Amnesia. Cause like, I'm prepared for it in a game like that, but fuck! The Star Wars, guys! Star Wars is for kids! Fucking kids play this game! And they put these things in there? Like, blundering monkey, uh, demon shit? Why? Why, pray tell me? It's scary! Alright, so a good idea is actually to just campify on top of this ledge, and please, 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 uh, use your continues. If you die, do not go ahead and restart the level. Uh, using continues is not shameful at all, because this these guys do about a million damage. Like, every time they hit you, they probably do about a million damage. So, like, look how, much I, look how much I'm hurt. That's ridiculous. Like, how are you supposed to survive through that room? That room is stupid, okay? I will, I will uh, put that out there. I die usually one to two times in that room. Just that room in particular. And look, these guys come back every single time. Like, who designed this fucking room? <laughs> Nobody's smart, that's for sure. Okay, and then two guys come from this way. Any more? Any more? No? Oh, they're gonna come... They're coming... Gonna have surprise butt sex on me. I know it. It's really gonna make me angry. And I know there's a Mandalorian Rage there, but it doesn't last long enough for you to get to the top. And this room, the room I'm in right now, isn't hard, it's just fucking scary. But the room up top is just ridiculous. Like, who designed it? I don't, I wanna know. Oh, look, there's another buddy. Yeah, <laughs> he came a little late. Too bad, motherfucker. I'm off. I'm on my own adventure. L look at all these guys. Look at them all. 
Oh! Ooh, Jangle! Fat stealth lunge to the ledge! What a boss! Alright, any more of you guys? Any more of you assholes? Kimmy J, asshole. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so now we're gonna use the pussy method and we're going to call this lift, which is sitting right here, and we're gonna glide on over, but there are Bandagora waiting on the other side, so the pussy method includes basically doing this. Kill them while they come up, and the lift will actually, thankfully enough, it will take you back. Bye! So you won't take any damage that way. And I know. Jango Fett normally wouldn't do that, but... Hell, I'm not Jango Fett! I'm Darkshot the Poisoner. I'm a fucking pussy when I play this game. It's just, oh my god. There's usually like one other guy who just chili dicks around here. Behind one of these pillars and he, and he comes and butt rapes you. There he is! Look at him! Look at that guy! Look at that guy! Where, did, where the fuck did he come from? You still haven't learned. Only one of us will claim the prize. Orsa's bounty will be mine. Over my dead body. Spoken like a true Mandalorian. If Jaster was still alive, he'd be proud. He was no fool. It was your fault he was killed. That's why you were banished. You didn't deserve the privilege of command. After I left, you're the one who let the Mandalorians to their deaths. We were betrayed. To the Jedi. So I heard. Too bad I wasn't there to see it. Come on down here and I'll tell you about it. Another duel. You're beginning to bore me, Jack. Alright, and as with the previous fight with... Uh, what's his face? I already forgot his name. Uh, he's actually pretty easy, so... Don't be alarmed, everybody. Don't be alarmed. If you just chilly dick back here for a while and actually snipe him, hopefully you get a few hits on him. And if you can, you know, avoid his fire. He's going to shoot rockets, and you're just going to blast him with your sniper rifle ammo. Usually it does quite a bit more damage. Like, if you can get a headshot on him, luckily, uh, it's, it's very nice. Um, also, like, I don't know if, if you can get lucky sometimes, but... You can hit him with a poison dart, maybe. But usually your best option is to just, you know, dodge those normally and lead him with some blaster fire like that. And after a while, you take him out pretty easily. And I'm tapping the A button really fast. Let's hope I can get him. Oh, I got him. And we made it through the Death Stick Factory. Big old double middle fingers to this level. God dang, it is so stupid. All right, it took me 20 minutes to beat. Uh, although it goes pretty quickly, it's very, very difficult if you do not know what you're doing. Um, and you're probably going to have to play it multiple times like I did. Uh, yep, time completed, 20 minutes. Non-enemies kill one, I don't care. Secondary bounties. Got four that uh, killed, um, 11 captured. And we got 44,400 credits. Pretty nice, everybody. And we got the secret Mandalorian feather. Now I will let you watch this cutscene, and I'll shut up and stop complaining about this game.
What? No, thank you. I told you I wasn't going to leave without my money. I grabbed as much loot as I could carry. Then I think it's time I drop you off somewhere. Well, I think it's time you told me what's going on. After all, I did save your neck back there. I could have left you. I would have hunted you. I had Montrose beat. If you say so. I heard that creep mention the name Vosa. Who? Huh. Wait a minute. I've heard that name. She's that Bando Gora head case. Don't tell me you're going after her. What? Did you two get some kind of special invite? What's the prize, Fett? Tell me. More than you'd make in a lifetime. Ha! Huh, I knew you were working another job. What's your angle? You owe me. The Bendagora's adding some kind of neurotoxin to death sticks. Makes them more potent, more popular too, I suppose. Instant brainwashing. A novel way of recruiting. So where does the Bandogora stuff come from? The Freighter and Sepulto's factory had Artie's markings. Vosa must use huts to transport cargo from her hidden system to Tatooine, then on to Malastare, probably to hide the trail. If the huts deal directly with Vosa, then they know where she is. Right. Set course for Tatooine. Listening device activated. You won't get rid of me that easily, Fett. You didn't tell me your new uh, partner was such a looker. She's got nothing on you, Ross. Oh, your flattery. Means you need something from me, right? I need more information on the huts. Well, I know a junk dealer in Mos Espa. He told me Gardula and Jabba are feuding over control of Tatooine. Then they're probably not in on this together. Which one of them is working with the Bandagora? Hmm. Dunno. But nobody sees the hut without something to offer. That I do know. This junk dealer, Watto, knew I had a friend in your line of work. He told me about a bounty Jabba posted, hoping for a finder's fee himself. Poor sap, lost everything in a pod race last season. Anyway, Longo Two Guns. Jabba wants him and his whole gang of bandits dead or alive. Same reward either way. You bag this one, and you're guaranteed to win an audience with Jabba. Gardula's more of a mystery, a kind of recluse. She's got a palace near the Judland Wastes. We'll have to split up. You see if you can get close to Gardula. I'll hunt down this gang for Jabba. Oh, sure. You get to have all the fun. One of these huts has information that will lead me straight to Vos's hidden system. You mean lead us? Ross, I'll let you know when I find out. Hey, did you name that new ship of yours yet? She's called Slave One. Oh, it's kind of a ruthless ring to it. Well, it fits your personality. I'll await your transmission. And so will I. Fit.